while scientists at CERN were catching a glimpse of the first few moments after the Big Bang, people in India awoke to the realization that there was a BOSE in Boson. In 1924, a young and completely unknown Indian scientist sent Albert Einstein a letter, and the resulting publication would change physics and Indian science forever. Three great shots in the dark had already been fired. One was, of course, Planck, Einstein, and Niels Bohr in 1913, when Bohr entered to fire the final and fourth great shot in the dark. Fact that his name is associated on one half of the particles in the whole world. We are all proud as Indian. At the same time as Bose was counting photons, two other young Indian scientists were busy revolutionizing physics with their very own theories. C.V. Raman gave the world the Raman effect and redefined how we see light and color. Meghnad Saha produced an equation that explains stellar radiation and is considered one of the fathers of modern astrophysics. All three scientists started their illustrious careers at Calcutta University in 1917. All became fellows of the Royal Society and one of them, Raman, was awarded India's first and only Nobel Prize for Science. He cried on the stage. He said, my poor country does not have a flag of our own. So I cannot claim that I have come here as an Indian. But who were these remarkable men? How did they overcome colonialism, British rule, racism, inadequate funding and limited resources to place India at the cutting edge of world science more than 20 years before independence? What is the legacy they left behind? And what can India learn from them to produce great science once again? This is their story. Bose, Raman and Saha, the Quantum Indians.